For today's lesson, we're going to be doing some crayon engraving. Alright, now that you have all your materials gathered together, we're going to move on to the next step, which is your drawing of your animal. You brought in a picture of an animal with lots of details on its body, and you're going to look at this picture as you draw. So, I brought in I brought in the armadillo. That's what I want to draw because I noticed that the armadillo has lots of details on its body. And so I want you to look at your animal and start drawing out its body, drawing its head, drawing its feet. And I've already started my drawing, and so I've got my basic outline of the armadillo. And now that I've gotten that drawn, I want to look at him again and see what little details he's got going on his body. And as I mentioned before, he had lots of scales, so I want to make sure I include those because that's an important part of the armadillo and that's a lot of the detail I see on him. And so I'm going to go ahead and start drawing in those scales. Just little round curvy U shapes that look like the scales that he has on his body. So as you can see, I started drawing in, drawing in those little U shapes to make the scales on his body. So I'm I'm including detail in mine and that's what I want you to do on yours is to look for the details on your animal and make sure that they show up in your drawing. And now that you are working on your drawing, I want you to go ahead and finish that and then we will move on to the next step which is our, our crayon background drawing that uh, we will use for our crayon engraving. Alright, we're ready to move on to the next step. You've finished your drawing and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get our crayons out I'm going to have those nearby, and then we're also going to get our other piece of paper. It's the same size as our drawing paper, it's just a little bit thicker, a little bit sturdier, because we're going to be coloring really hard on it. And what we want to do is just create a really colorful background for our picture of our animal. And so you can use the colors that you see in the picture that you use to draw off of, or you can use colors that you don't see, just colors that you like, colors that you wish had been in the picture that you want to see in your drawing or your crayon engraving of your animal. And I'm going to choose I'm going to choose colors that I didn't see in my drawing and I'm going to go ahead and just draw all these wavy lines that overlap and create all these shapes. And so you can do the same thing or if you want if you want it to look more like your picture, say you've got a big rectangle of green grass at the bottom of your picture, you can color a big rectangle of green grass on your background piece of paper. But I'm just going to work with the shapes, and once I've got some shapes drawn, I'm going to start coloring them in. And I don't want them all to be the same color. I want, I want this to be a colorful background, so I might do a few shapes that are the same color as my line and then I might choose I might choose a different color for the next part like I might choose this really bright yellow for the next shape and I want to as I'm coloring my shapes and this is what you want to do also is to press down pretty hard and I don't want you to press down so hard that you break the crayon but hard enough that you fill your entire shape with color and there's no white showing underneath at all. You'll even see kind of like when you tilt your paper that it's got, it looks kind of shiny where you colored because you colored so hard. So you can kind of see I started coloring in my shapes and you can see how thick and solid my color is and that's how I want yours to look. And you can include whatever shapes you want, just make sure it's very colorful and that you have colors, different colors, all over all over your background and by the time that you're through you don't want to see any white at all. Okay, so now I've colored in my entire sheet of paper and now that that's done we're gonna take our drawing and we're gonna flip it over so that we can see the back and we're gonna take a white crayon and we're just going to start to cover the entire back of it with our white crayon. And sometimes you can use chalk for this, but if you don't have chalk, you can always use a white crayon. And so, this is what I want you to work on next, is just making sure the entire 
back of your drawing of your animal is colored with the white crayon. Right, now that you've colored the back of your drawing with the white crayon or with white or yellow chalk, uh, the next step is to, to get out your black temper paint and you might want to add a little bit of um, dishwashing liquid to make it a little bit smoother uh, as it goes on your piece and it's not going to flake as much once you paint it on. Um, but you want to get your, your black temper paint out, get some on your brush, and then you're just going to brush it on, brush it on to your background piece, the one that you colored with crayon, and just straight strokes down your piece until the whole thing is covered in black paint and you can't see your colors anymore. Okay, so now that you have colored the back of your drawing with white crayon or chalk and you have covered your other piece of paper, your background, crayon background with the black temper paint, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your background piece with the temper paint on it and you're going to place your drawing on top and I have paper clips here where you can put them on there to make sure your paper doesn't move because sometimes it's hard hard to hold it still with your hand and, and trace at the same time and um, once it's paper clipped on there you're just going to go back over your lines retrace them and press down hard enough uh, so that the crayon on the back leaves an imprint on the black tempera underneath. Okay, now uh, that you have your your drawing traced onto your background with the black tempera paint on it, you can remove the paper clips and remove your drawing and set it aside. And you should be able to see your lines. I don't know if you can see mine, but they're real faint white lines and you can see some where the, the paint's already chipped off a little bit. Um, but now that you have gotten your lines traced, you can just uh, take a nail. That's one thing that I've seen recommended. You just have to be careful with it. And then, or you can use a plastic knife. I just have a metal one, but you can use a plastic knife in class to to go back over to go back over the lines and scratch away the black temper paint so that you can see the colors you have underneath. And now that you're you're done scratching into your tempera, you should have something that looks kind of similar to this. Um, maybe a little bit more going on, maybe some more blocks of color, but uh, in the end you should have a nice colorful crayon engraving. Thank you.